Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado at the Red Hat booth, and I'm here with John Masters. And John, what are you holding there? Yeah, hi. Uh, well, I'm holding here the uh, first high-end uh, HPC production ARM server platform from Hewlett Packard Enterprise. They announced it yesterday. It's called the Apollo 70. And what you see here is a two-socket system. This is not uh, two different machines. It's a two-socket system, very similar to the kind of server uh, that you would see with other architectures. Uh, there are eight memory channels coming off uh, each SOC and a high-performance interconnect between them. Uh, and it's really uh, the first platform that we've seen from one of the major OEMs uh, that we work with as a company uh, that allows us to have a, a route to market, which is why you will have also seen yesterday uh, the announcement of Red Hat Enterprise Linux for ARM. In the ARM space, there's some very compelling technology that's uh, coming to market now. Last week you saw Qualcomm announce Centrique 2400 uh, is now shipping and, and available on the market and uh, some very interesting numbers came from that discussion. And then over the past few days, you've seen a lot of uh, noise in the media about uh, Cavium's Thunder X2 pod and how that's entering through multiple different OEM channels. Um, and now what we've seen over the past few years is that there kind of is a bifurcation in the ARM space, right? There are sort of embedded widgets, Raspberry Pis we all love playing with on the weekend. They're, they're, they're great, yeah. great devices, but they're not fully standardized in the way that a, a server needs to be. Uh, and in particular, in the way that uh, it needs to be for the kind of operating system software that we build. But there's been a lot behind that. It didn't just happen in the last two weeks, did it? No, I mean, it be, it's, it's interesting when people look at these things and they say, wow, that just happened now, that's kind of weird, you know? But as with anything, you have to look back over time and, and, and view it as a uh, many year journey that it is. So Red Hat has this uh, multi-architecture strategy now uh, that we've built over the past few years, which is about accepting that the world these days is much more complex than it used to be. People are interested in compute, sure, but they're increasingly interested in workload optimization and acceleration. We can only play in a market where we have a common core operating system that runs across all variants. So yesterday we announced RHEL, and that runs on 10 different microarchitectures. So that means 10 different implementations of the ARM architecture. People have heard of like, you know, Cortex-A, this kind of stuff, right? Well, this is a Thunder X2. Qualcomm announced Centrique last week. These are all example implementations. And then they ship in platforms. And what we've done over the past seven years of this project inside Red Hat is to help build the foundation so that we can have an operating system that runs across all of these platforms.